Hi and welcome. It's Jamie Hartley here from Crossfader, the online DJ school. And today in this video, I'm going to help you become a better scratch DJ. Someone that can perform better scratches without having to learn actually much more. It all stems back to actually music theory rather than more complicated scratches. You see, scratching isn't always just about how complex you can create the cuts with the crossfader or with your hand or how fast you can actually move the scratch sound. It's about rhythm, timing, pacing, and creating patterns. Now, patterns don't have to be complex. In a matter of fact, patterns sound better when there are spaces, when there is room for the scratch to breathe. So what we're going to do today is look at different timings within music look at how scratching can be performed at different paces when you're sticking to certain timings and really just start playing around and creating some basic patterns. And this can all be applied to the baby scratch. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, to like, comment, share, subscribe, and do all that good stuff to help us keep making more videos just like this one. First, you'll need to understand that a bar of music equals four beats. One, two, three, and four in this example. Each beat is just a length of time rather than a sound. Beats can be split into halves, quarters, even an eighth and further. Scratching is all about patterns. The patterns are created using a forward and backward motion of the hand, therefore creating the sound you want to scratch with. A basic baby scratch is a forward and backward motion that is done together. This can then be performed on the beat and at different timings and pacings which we're about to look at. We could straight away try a different timing by moving forward on beat number one but delaying the backwards movement until the half beat position. This creates a different rhythm or swing to the scratch. Now to start getting creative. The forward motion could then be switched to the half beat and the backwards motion to the whole beat. This again creates another variation or swing to the scratch. Next, we could combine the two different rhythms to make a really basic pattern. Here we have a couple of scratches on the beat and a couple off beat. Make sure to start with your patterns make up a bar in length. In this example, we're going to be moving forward on beat one and backwards on beat two and so on. This creates a pause in the middle of the baby scratch. You can even experiment with more obscure timing like this one. Until this point, each of the different swings or timings haven't sounded particularly great, but the magic happens when you start to combine them into a pattern. Here is an example. Here we have another example, this one creating more space within the scratch pattern. We could simplify it even more while still creating swing in the pattern by varying the timing of each of the baby scratches. Ha! 
Hand control is another skill that you will need to learn as a scratch DJ. You can create high pitched scratches with sharp movements or lower pitched scratches with shorter movements. The rhythm and frequency stays the same. It's just the sound of the scratching that changes. Practice this by baby scratching to the beat and slowly moving up and down with the pacing or sharpness of your scratch. If you like what you've learned in this tutorial and really want to take your scratching further then we do have a complete scratching course available. This course features all the scratch sounds you'll need, some beats that we've provided and more importantly it has 80 plus crossfader scratching loops. These are loops that you can load into your DJ software or hardware and then practice alongside with the lessons the same cuts that are taught. If you want to get a sneak peek at this course and watch one of the lessons for free then just sign up via the link and you can check out what this cost is all about and how it's put together. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in another video very soon. And please remember to comment below if you've got any questions or if you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up. And always remember, hit that subscribe button.